Hey everybody. I am right now trying to make this a little brighter. There we go. Keeps wanting to go yellow on me. And there it went again. But I've adjusted the light, so hopefully. Yeah. I'm going to do a mallet smash on this itty bitty 8 inch canvas with Payne's Gray, Grumbacher, Prussian Blue, and Mystery Red, which I now use in teeny tiny doses because I don't want anything to happen to it. Because I don't know what it's made out of. Um, I will show you, this is from, is it two videos ago? Um, it has the Payne's Gray background. And I am not a big fan. It looks like an MRI of a brain. So, not a big fan of that one. Probably painting over it or doing something to it. Um, Cause yeah, it just looks like a, just looks like an MRI scan to me. Oops, there goes my gloves. I'm not gonna bother picking them up. So you can go in the video description and see my Amazon link that will take you to where I get all this stuff. Um, I have paint mixing videos. A good place if you are new to this video is to go to my YouTube homepage and there is a starred video that says Paint Pouring 101. And that is a good place to start. I am always, always happy to answer questions, but you can find a lot of it um, already on some videos. So this is my um, Dutch Boy interior latex paint. As I said, there are paint mixing videos for this. Um, I always have people, uh, if they have good luck with another house paint, because Dutch Boy is difficult to find. Um, I can only be, I'm in Nebraska, and I can only get it in um, Menards. So if, uh, I've also used um, Benjamin Moore paint, I like that. Uh, somebody recently, was having good luck with, um, oh, I can't remember exactly which one it was from Walmart, but I thanked her for that because um, I pretty much everywhere in America has a Walmart. <laughs> Outside of America, I don't know what kind of house paints you guys use, but I mean, if you can, afford it, definitely go with art paint. If, but I cannot. <laughs> One day, maybe. Alrighty. It does not want to go down the corners. There we go. And I don't want to scoop too much from the tray like I usually do because I did not clean the paper from the first, from the pour I just did. So um, it's not very clean paint under there. Ah, here's some that is. So I have my art show coming up in January that I've already started worrying about. Um, I need to make tags for all everything, which I know is going to be time consuming. Um, and I gotta figure out, get some Velcros to attach it to the wall and 
So a bunch of new stuff I've never had to do before. Um, but my biggest concern is physically getting all of my paintings uh, to the show without harming them. Um, which I haven't quite figured out. I can't just like throw them in the van. That, that won't work. Um, there's no box on earth that can house all of them. I've got dozens and dozens. Uh, so I'm not really sure. All right, I was torching up the air bubbles. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Location-wise, I mean, it's a five minute drive from my house, so I mean, I can, and I've got all my friends and family, so I mean, I've got plenty of help. It's just um, logistically, which is one of the reasons I stopped doing um, art shows. Well, there's a lot of reasons I stopped. There, yeah, there was tons of reasons I stopped doing art shows, but um, setting up and this is, this is going to be up for a month, so that's good. But setting up and taking down um, displays is not easy. Um, and if you love doing art shows and craft shows. More power to you. I am envious of you. <laughs> I did not enjoy them. Um, at all. That sounds really like a downer talk, but you know, they're not for everybody. And eventually people will stop asking you why. <laughs> people locally are always like, oh, are you you know, are you going to be at this art show or this show? You know, they stop asking you after a while, which is nice. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to be there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Is there a ton of white? That is crazy. What the heck? Hmm. Okay, the canvas size is one thing, because these um, Michaels ones have thick wood. So I've got wood out to about here. So when I smash that, you can see half is on the wood and half is on the canvas. So there. See, you can hear it when it gets on the, um, the wood and versus the canvas. That is something I had not taken into consideration. But boy, those colors are pretty. But they are not cooperating. At all. So right now I've just got kind of a bluish blob. I love the colors, but it is not what I wanted. So I'm going to, um, I'm just gonna pour some red onto my pan. Oops. So I got that. I really don't want to make pink. Which I think is what I'm making. A 
let's just try a mallet smash and really, really tilt and see what I get. This looks like my my husband's school's color. I have him put this in his classroom. This is just putrid. This isn't working. So let's see. What else can I do? Well, I guess I can try a flip cup, maybe. This much. Okay, stir it. This area right here is like the prettiest thing I've seen. Well, the prettiest thing I've seen in like the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I wouldn't say the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I look in the mirror every day, duh. <laughs> oh God, I'm so funny. I hope you're laughing. At me, with me, what else? No paint right here. And I can blend that in. It's not bad. No paint up there either. Oh, my new favorite binge watching show, and this one I'm actually binging with my husband, is The Guest Book. I think it is on TBS. 
Um, it is hilarious. It is weird. I enjoy it. All right, so I know I've been doing, you know, this Payne's Gray quite a bit, but this is really pretty. I really like this. See what that does. Hopefully it does not engage in tons and tons of cell action. Um, it did bring up <coughs> the pains, which is um, okay. So I don't know if it's going to keep Oh my gosh, I forgot that this, this straw has, okay. all right, I cannot use that straw. <sighs> okay, I just want to see. There's color, a lot of color under there. And I'm going to take you off right here. I'm back. Maybe I shouldn't take you off that way because I unplugged you. And I accidentally turned on my Bixby, which is the stupidest thing ever. And there we go. Oh my gosh. So many technical difficulties. It is really pretty. It's really pretty. Loving it, loving it. So if you want to know my issues, I'm having, this is, so I've got that on the table now. And then that on the table and that opposite me. So, I liked the lighting in this one, like it worked really well for me, from my point of view, but I'm not sure about you guys. Um, so this whole move is a, you know, work in progress type thing. But as long as I'm here, I'm going to show you these that I resined. Um, this was the one with the blue tint and I kept the blue tint and it is gorgeous it is such a pretty painting and the blue tint's kind of cool and then this one i resined as well 
and it's pretty awesome. So, anywho, I will now have to go edit these two videos together <laughs> since I oopsed on the first one. I will catch you next time. Bye.